Maybe you are one of those rare and ambitious souls that's decided you are not going to settle for the crap that your family, your parents, your friends, society told you you need to settle for in your life. You're not going to settle for mediocrity in fitness, in your finances, in your work life, doing crap you hate for your whole life, in settling for a partner that's not really that great and not the best match for you. You've decided you want something exceptional for your life, and that's awesome. But where do you actually begin? Because by definition, if it is exceptional, there are not that many human beings to emulate on the planet. In this video, I want to share what are my five laws I realized for reinventing my life beyond the mediocre. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book Master the Dizzle, aka Day. Now, the best way if you want to reinvent your life is to start like how I and so many others have done, which is by journaling to figure out what the hell your ideal life looks like. So I've included a free journaling worksheet and email course. It's the first link in the description box there below. Click that, add your email, you're gonna get a short email course. I think one video, one lesson every day or every three days that'll go into some of these exercises. So you can check that out in the description box. The first rule is knowing that to build an incredible life, you need to know what the average person does and then basically do anything but that. You know, when I first started wanting to improve my life, I heard the same old BS from everyone. You should settle down and get married. You should get a safe, secure job. You should get a house when you can. And guess what? How do all those people that gave me advice, how are they doing in their lives? All I knew was that that was not the life I wanted. I knew that for a fact. And so what did I do? I ignored their advice completely. I'm renting and I'm still 31. I don't plan to buy a house till I'm 40 or later. I want to have cash, baby. I want to buy drugs with... I'm going to go to jail for that. I want to have cash. Cash is the only thing that's actually useful money to me, not a mortgage, okay? And I ignored their advice with my career as well. Instead of taking a high paying job, I always valued learning, growth, and getting better. And now I'm doing what I love and I'm making a good income, and more important, a huge impact doing it, and I love doing it. It's not some bullshit working for some other person who's yet another cog in a wheel. So think, what is all the advice you get? And are those people living an exceptional life? Or is it just the projections, again, the belief structures that has built a mediocre life in another person? The second habit is to get what only 5% or less of the population has. You must think like them. So for example, one aha realization to me was that just like when I was a kid, many other people read a book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And my parents were often would say things like, even though my parents were doing well financially, they'd say things like, we can't afford that. And I read this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and he said that his poor dad always said, we can't afford that. His rich dad said, how can we afford that? It's such a simple shift in the question, but immediately you start putting yourself in the inspired state, in the, oh, I could do this, I could do that. This is the direct state to achieve a goal or to manifest or to do whatever it is that's growth oriented in that direction. And so you need to start thinking, what are the small percentage of people doing differently in finances, dating, and fitness? If you don't know, ask them. The third thing is to remember that it doesn't have to be hard. Okay, I want this to go away from the discussion of difficulty because some things, of course, are difficult. Becoming a master is difficult. Becoming a pro basketball player is difficult. Becoming a professional writer is difficult. But the thing is, it doesn't have to be difficult because you're thinking differently. I don't even work 20 hours a week in my business and I take a more than full-time income. So how do you define difficulty? Number of hours worked or the effectiveness of my hours worked, right? Most people don't think you can work less than 40 hours and earn a 40 hour a week salary, but I do. So think differently versus try to do more. The fourth principle is that the 95% think ideas are worth millions while the 5% think action is worth millions. I'll tell you, the number of people I hear asking me for business advice, startup advice, YouTube advice, they're just pooing their ideas on me, all right? They're just vomiting them and pooing them. It's like dysentery, it's messy everywhere. But you know what they're not doing? They're not doing shit. Man, this is a lot of poo jokes, I'm sorry guys. It's the story of my life. 
<laughs> but seriously, they're not doing shit. They're not taking action. Like, I made a huge pivot in my channel at 100,000 subscribers from completely about fitness, which was not my passion, to personal development. Now I love my content again. You can constantly reinvent yourself. Not a lot of people get it right. Instagram did not start as Instagram posting pictures. It was completely different. It was a lot more like Foursquare. There's so many different things that you don't know happen in successful companies and startups, but it happens because they take action, they get feedback, and then they adjust. Now the fifth habit here, or principle, is that I observe that the 95% take forever to change. Forever. They said until forever. Forever, 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 forever. To change. While the 5%, they change very, very quickly. So when I, early on in my career, when I was building my business, learning about personal development, learning how personal development is whole life development, not just finances, there were so many things I wanted to work on. But especially with business, because it's such a difficult thing to go into, and it's such a long-term project or goal. So many people were talking about ideas and reading books and like printing goddamn business cards. None of that matters when you have a business. The only thing that matters is money so you can eat <laughs> and pay your team. That's it at the base level. And yet people were stuck with this minutia of business cards like rounded edges or square edges. I don't know. This is so difficult. Take one month to figure it out. I don't know, guys, I don't know. How are you gonna be successful when you spend a month to figure out business cards and you don't even have a customer? The fact of the matter is that the best people in any industry, when they get that idea for what they wanna work on, they get to work the same day or the next morning. None of this, you know, pussyfooting around the question, the frustration, the fears, start doing something, anything. You can always change later. You're not jumping out of airplanes, probably. And if you are, then maybe you should think a little bit longer. But seriously, take action way faster. Now, of course, you can apply this to any goal in your life. Study what the people that are really getting it are doing and emulate that and take action. Now, again, the best way to get started for me has always been journaling. And I've included a free e-course that's related to journaling as well as free journaling worksheets. The first link in the description box. We also have some of the journaling exercises from my book, Master the Day, in there. So click that link, sign up, and I would love to see you in there. And you can see my last two videos right there and right there.